I'm going to be talking about how I am embracing being a corporate body rather than being a corporate sadie. Side, left hand outside. Are you? I'm the flock master. <laughs> the fingers above you, press the palms away, sitting nice and tall, exhale twist to the right side, left hand outside of right knee, let the right fingertips face the wall behind you, and you can let your gaze follow. But it's cold. Ooh, ooh. What is that? Like a boy, what? Like a boy. Say hi to my vlog. Ah, oh, what is this all about? Say hi to my vlog. You agree? Hello, vlog? Vlog? No, vlog. Vlog? Yeah. Hey, vlog. <laughs> hey, vloggy vlog. Who are you? I'm the vlog master. <laughs> Flocking. Oh, Flocking. look at the plane. Woohoo! What is that? Yeah. What is that? Flock, flock time. <laughs> flock time. Well, we go and get lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. All the sunshine. It's sun. A bit dizzy from the sunshine. Yeah, it's the transfer from inside to outside. Did you close the door? We did. You want to double check? I have a really new energy. You need energy. It's makkelijk. Ik heb toch een bril voor de buurman. Het is een aardige buurman. Ja, super aardig. De zadeldak is nice. Mmm. Oh. Yummy. Mmm. Wat lekker dit hoor. Mhm. Are you going to do the seats first? Ja, in de side position. Oké. Makes more sense. Oh ja, because it's easier. Toep toep. Ja. It's a wrap for today. Time to go home. Let's see how much home. we have. To be on my crew. I told you, 35 images. And I can open up each and then I can download. Yeah, it's a bit stretched because it stretches though. 
Yeah, I also had a... Yeah. Did, did you get it? Should I have a look? No, it's okay. Because the thing has to go over and then clip through. I'll just it. Wait, let me. No, 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 you don't remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You can feel it. It's intuitive. It is intuitive. Yes, yeah. Three days of shooting, and it's a wrap. I said it again, not three, 2.5. And we have one sick photographer. Uh, 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 choo. <laughs> Germs. <laughs> Time to go back to the office and leave the studio. Ta-da! Let's get in, let's get in, let's get in. I'm gonna be talking about how I am embracing being a corporate baddie rather than being a corporate saddie because for a little period i was really diving deep into the corporate saddie but that's not exactly where i want to be a corporate saddie is those that feel sad stressed out or burned out at a corporate job that's tired of working that nine to five doing all of those typical things working from monday to friday nine to five putting in more time if you must or if you feel like you need to overworking yourself, being stressed at your job, and feeling like you're not progressing because you're only earning that amount of income. It's fixed, it's not fluctuating, it's not increasing as you would like it to increase. And everything just feels like, no, why am I not a corporate ratty, but a saddie? I'm going to tell you some ways that I took myself from kind of being a corporate saddie for a few weeks into being a corporate ratty and also embracing everything that I want to embrace in this season of my life, working for a corporation and being in corporate. First thing that I did when diving and almost drowning into being a corporate saddie was simply a mindset change. Mindset, it's very, very important because when you're diving or starting to drown into feeling like a corporate saddie, your mindset starts to spiral and you start to feel as though, what is this? Like, what am I actually doing? How am I contributing to this corporation? What am I doing? You may feel sad, you may feel stressed out. You may also feel burnt out. But what I did was change my mindset. So in changing my mindset, I went ahead, looked back on my life a year ago and saw where I was and saw how I was feeling, really got in tune with how those emotions at that time was and reminded myself that I was really unhappy and I was really looking forward to having a corporate job like this. Literally around this time a year ago, I found out I got rejected or actually redirected into this position I'm currently in from another role that I thought was my ideal and just realizing like, hey, I actually wished for this last year and I'm in it is one thing that really excelled my feelings of I'm here, I'm here living out one of my prayers, so embrace it. The next thing that changed my mindset that was really important for me was also looking at all the things that I have currently. Okay, I have to travel about an hour and 30 minutes completely, like roughly to the building and back, um, but I don't have to go every day. I have flexibility of going to the studio. Studio has given me so much energy. Literally is my happy place within my role. Um, I also have, you know, like a really nice office that I go to that have lovely lighting in, the coffee machine is good, just all the little things, like I always stress the little things, the little things is the things that take you and help you with your mindset and that has really helped me in the last few months. Second thing I would say is waking up earlier at the office or the studio, I have to leave home around 7. So I've been waking up actually like around 5.20 just to make sure that I have an earlier start to my day and waking up earlier, including also in my routine and in the time of becoming and embracing being a corporate body, was having breakfast and was having some physical activity in my morning. So when I wake up, I actually wake up, I give thanks to God, I give thanks for a new day and say like, okay, my day isn't, I am here. So that means that there is more to my day and more that I need to add to this world. So I need to be happy and embrace and look after and get up with joy. Also back to the mindset. 
get up with joy just feeling that yeah i i i'm here for a reason there's more to see there's more to do so be happy so i express gratitude right when i wake up and also waking up earlier with the mindset they're all kind of intertwined i feel like we're um actually it's literally expressing gratitude and being thankful for what i have what i've wished for before and also walking in this season of my life so really embracing that it sounds so simple and it sounds so like yeah it won't do anything but for me it really has helped me embrace being a corporate body and loving my job loving also what i do the things like i create making sure to look at what i'm creating what it was what it became after working with all the different people that i collaborate with and then after where it goes eventually in the ending that for me like seeing the whole process has showed me like okay i'm a part of something that's bigger than myself it's touching a lot of people and it looks really good so i am doing a good job and in my role maybe it's a bit more easier because i can see the end result of what i create and what i work in doing in my corporate job but just being able to know that what I'm doing is part of something that is impacting people's lives has helped me tremendously. My before might be a luxury for some, but it is something that I've embraced and told myself that I'm not going to say that it's a privilege. It's something I want to stand in and wanted to have a part of my life. So it's what I'm doing. And I'm working four days a week, so that means I have one day off extra every week and to do the things that I need to do because I feel that a two-day weekend is too short to get all the things I need to get done, gain back energy, and then be ready to go to work again. So I work four days a week. Of course, I am then taking one day off of my income that I get in, but I'm trying to figure out a way that I can use all the content I create and all the things that I do on social media to also return um, and fill in that one day and maybe one day soon also fill in all of my days or have it in a way that I can add to a corporation or to an agency or something creative two days a week and then the rest of the week is for myself and for my brand and for my things that I want to do that gives me energy and really gives my life purpose. So. That's another thing that helps me in being a corporate baddie is working four days a week and not working the normal five days. I think it's very, very important. That extra one day that you have off, you can take for your wellness to get your things done or to clean your house so that on your Saturday, you can still go out for dinner, still meet up with friends and Sunday rest if you need to, because usually that's like kind of what I do. Just making sure to have a good balance in between working and also having fun. I think we're all brought to this earth to enjoy life and not be corporate saddies, like I mentioned. If you would like to see more videos like this, do let me know. I like the whole topic of being in corporate because it's where I am now in my life and I have some experience around it. And I think it's just about being gentle with yourself, really knowing that you wanted to be here in a corporation, like in my case, really wanting to be in a corporation, being a part of a bigger, larger company and being able to express myself creatively has been very helpful. In my role, I do get to be creative. You can see it as being limited in a sense, but it's very not limited because I am a part of the global brand team so there's always something happening something going on things are going really fast it's incredible sometimes how a concept or idea comes up and then it's the time when you have to just execute it like the turnaround and the turnover time is really fast thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and share if it resonated with you and if you don't as yet just go ahead and follow me on instagram i do post stuff there that are inspirational motivating and sharing with you some vibrant self-love so if you want to see more of that go ahead and follow me there and i will definitely see you in my next video bye